Hey guys, Pete here. Um, I'm actually down at the Beach House this weekend. It's a uh, long weekend here in Victoria, Australia, so I thought I'd get away from some distractions and actually get a lot of work done. So while I was down here, I actually came across a bunch of my old uh, audio cassettes, which I uh, started rummaging through to sort of bring back some old memories and stuff. And I thought I'd just do a quick video and share with you some of my favourite um, old audio books that I uh, used to listen to uh, on cassette. That's how old some of this stuff is. Um, I've always been a lover of audiobooks, um, much prefer to, to devour a book um, using audio as opposed to actually reading the book. I find I can um, absorb it a lot better and also get through it a lot quicker. Um, what I've, even back in high school, uh, I actually, uh, in English class, we used to have, obviously have to read and um, report and do a lot of book reports. So for the final two years of high school, I actually uh, bought the books on uh, audio tape at the time and um, listen to them that way. Uh, I found it fantastic. It didn't really go down so well in class when I actually had to um, turn to page 45 to discuss that I had nothing to turn to, given that it was an audio book. Uh, but I still devour probably a book, or maybe two a week these days, um, in audio format. Um, I find when I actually go running, which I'm doing a lot of at the moment because I'm training for a marathon, if I actually take a little uh, iPod shuffle with me, I can put an audio book on there and you know, there's four hours a week on the road I'm running that I can actually get some information at the same time. Um, and also with the new iPhones, you actually... Where's my one? No, I don't know where it is. With the new iPhones and the new iPods, you can actually have the ability to play audio books back at two speed, which means you can get through a six-hour book in three hours. Um, there's been a lot of scientific um, studies done that say you can listen to up to four speed without losing any um, retention or understanding, which is fantastic. So I'm a big believer in that and it's probably one of the reasons I talk so fast myself. Uh, so to give you an idea of some of the books I've read or listened to uh, over the past few years that um, I think made a big difference to my life, um, first and foremost has to be um, Tony Robbins' Personal Power. It's a uh, fantastic program and for those of you who haven't listened to it, jump on eBay or um, you know go into your lo local uh, you know Salvation Army type store and um, pick them up. You'll be able to find them for you know, 15, 20 bucks and this has to be one of the, uh, the greatest personal development programs ever done. Um, my understanding is that uh, for a particular period of time in the United States, uh, there was a Tony Robbins infomercial for personal power being run every 30 seconds for like a three or four year period. It was uh, insane. Obviously, uh, it was a very profitable um, program and infomercial, but obviously, obviously um, added a lot of value to people too. So Personal power, I can't recommend enough. Um, huge fan of uh, Robert Kiyosaki and all his stuff. Um, big fan of um, what he did and what he talked about. Um, one of the programs that a lot of people don't know Robert for is a program called Secrets of Professional Investors. Uh, he did this with a guy named John Burley. And if you're into sort of uh, investing and making some um, money that way, I highly recommend you trying to find this. It wasn't hugely available. Uh, but it was um, an amazing program talking about uh, investing in property and shares and, and all that sort of stuff. And um, John Burley had a book called, uh, I think it was Seven, Seven Secrets of the Rich or something. Hang on. That's Investment Strategy of the Rich by John Burley. But I, um, yeah, John Burley's a fantastic guy. I really recommend him. Uh, what else is in here? I've got Stock Market Success. Ah, how to get a million dollars worth of publicity for free. This is by a guy named Paul Hartunian. Uh, it's actually where I got the idea to sell the MCG from. Uh, he sold pieces of the Brooklyn Bridge back in uh, New York um, back in the late 80s, early 90s, I think it was, and made a couple of million dollars. I love that idea and sort of started to think about what was happening here in Australia. Um, so yeah, uh, Iacocca, a um, bunch of stuff from uh, Steve McKnight, propertyinvesting.com, good friend of mine who's uh, written a, uh, a national bestseller and has just been re-released as a second edition, which is fantastic. Um, look, what I'll actually do, I'll uh, rather than going through all this with you now, I'll uh, jump into Keynote and do a really quick PowerPoint presentation of sort of the top five or six audio books I suggest you guys uh, have listened to and, um, and also where I recommend you get them from as well. So I uh, hope this is going to be valuable and uh, you enjoy the and you know download a few of the videos and uh, audio books I recommend.